interesting facts about famous people. Scene stealing co stars in Western movies. Any movie is a collaboration in front of and behind the camera, a real team effort. Actors work together all the time, starring and supporting characters. Today we will take a look at some movies where the lead actor's co-stars have stolen some of the limelight. If you enjoy this video, take a look at my channel for more. The link's in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. The Alamo, 1960. John Wayne's official directorial debut. The Alamo is a dramatic retelling of Davy Crockett's last stand against the invading Mexican army in 1836. Wayne also starred in the movie with a performance that was viewed by critics to be far more compelling than his direction. And yet, it wasn't Wayne himself who shined the brightest on screen. Playing the Tennessean soldier named Beekeeper, Theodore Chill Wills made a lasting impression and earned a Best Supporting Oscar nomination for his efforts. This could be viewed as an unsurprising accomplishment for Wills though, as he made a career out of being a sidekick to some of the biggest stars Western filmmaking ever saw. Blazing Saddles, 1974, an outrageous comedy from Hollywood legend Mel Brooks. Blazing Saddles remains a true classic of the genre, nearly 50 years after its release. While plenty of the jokes would have current audiences blushing, it can't be denied that the film is packed with great side characters who make every scene they appear in their own. Following a black sheriff who's appointed by a corrupt politician to bring about the downfall of an old west town, the biting satirical western features some of comedy's greatest ever side characters. From the farting, bean-eating cowboys to more central characters like Gene Wilder's drunk gunslinger, Jim, Blazing Saddles offers the very best figures of western comedies. The Lone Ranger, 2013. Throughout many iterations, from film and television and radio, where it originated from, The Lone Ranger has always been firmly focused on its hero. Gore Verbinski's 2013 version of the story gave Tonto, Johnny Depp, a more prominent role, and it saw the character become a scene stealer. While the family-friendly action-adventure western failed to impress critics, Depp's performance as the iconic sidekick was well received. Some viewers criticising the film's depiction of Native Americans and their struggles throughout history. Depp's performance remains one of the most celebrated components of the film. Unforgiven, 1992. Morgan Freeman is certainly no stranger to taking a supporting part and making it the main attraction. Doing so in renowned classics like The Shawshank Redemption and Million Dollar Baby. That ability transcends seamlessly to the Old West when he played the part of Ned in Unforgiven. With Clint Eastwood directing the film as well as starring in it, it presented a gritty and violent spin on the American West as former gunslinger Will Money Eastwood worked with his former associate, Ned, to bring in a bounty on a man who disfigured a sex worker. The revisionist Western classic displays a world-weary bitterness in which Freeman thrives in, dissecting much of what made the genre so iconic in its heyday, with his trademark grace and his glorious voice. Tombstone, 1993. The star-studded ensemble cast able to dominate a scene, made Tombstone so captivating. Kurt Russell starred as Wyatt Earp, with the likes of Powers Booth, Sam Elliott, Bill Paxton and Michael Bean among the supporting cast. But it was Val Kilmer's performance as his right-hand man, Doc Holliday, which is best remembered. The hard-drinking, saloon-dwelling gunslinger struck a chord with audiences at the time, earning the actor numerous awards with many believing he could be a contender at the Oscars. While a nomination eluded him, a long-standing legacy as one of the greatest cowboys of the 1990s did not, with Kilmer's Doc Holliday still viewed as one of the best Western characters of the era. Come on. Come on. Bone Tomahawk, 2015. As fantastic as Kurt Russell is, 
Tombstone wasn't the only time he was upstaged in a western, with his starring role in the ultra-violent Bone Tomahawk being overshadowed by Matthew Fox's magnetic gunslinger John Bruder. The star shares the screen with the likes of Richard Jenkins and Patrick Wilson as a small up. posse ventures into a dangerous valley to, to rescue three townspeople from a tribe of cave-dwelling cannibals. To be fair, the entirety of the ensemble yeah. cast is a constant highlight yeah. of the slow-paced Western horror, making the dialogue pop it. off the screen throughout. It is Fox, though, who has been most fondly remembered by fans of the film, with his stylish tough guy a constant scene stealer throughout. <laughs> Django Unchained, 2012. Taking inspiration from the spaghetti westerns of the 60s and 70s, Quentin Tarantino's action revenge blockbuster, Django Unchained, utilised the full extent of the genre's penchant for style to bolster the film's collection of captivating characters. While Django, Jamie Foxx, is anything but boring, the film has no lack of side characters who compel us even more. Both Christopher Waltz and Leonardo DiCaprio earned Oscar nominations for their performances as a German bounty hunter and a ruthless plantation owner, respectively, with Waltz going on to win his second Oscar for the role. There was also Samuel L. Jackson's famous character, as well as Don Johnson and the Ku Klux Klan sequence, which is still fondly remembered for its ridiculous comedy. I couldn't resist. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly, 1966. While it is best known for its iconic music, epic story and gripping tension, The Good, the Bad and the Ugly is rendered so endlessly rewatchable thanks to its excellent characters. While Clint Eastwood's Blondie, who serves as The Good, is the film's lead, anyone who has seen the Western classic will undoubtedly view Eli Wallach's Tuco, the Ugly, as the scene-stealing star. The unkept, immoral, thieving, Murdering Gunslinger becomes Blondie's uneasy associate when they realise each of them knows a clue to the whereabouts of stolen Confederate gold. With the comedic presence of the film, it would have been easy for Tuco to ruin the movie, but Wallach's performance ensures he remains one of the defining aspects of its greatness. No Country for Old Men, 2007. The Coen Brothers, gritty neo-western masterpiece, is one of the most well, recent well, classics the genre has produced. A punishing thriller. Pocket, no Country for Old Men takes place in 1980 in and follows Hunter Llewellyn Moss, Josh Brolin, who stumbles across pocket. the aftermath of a cartel shootout and takes a briefcase containing $2 million. As great as Llewellyn is to watch, he is nothing compared to Javier Bardem's psychotic hitman, Anton Chigurh, who is hired to retrieve the stolen money. Not only did Chigurh dominate every scene he appeared in, but he has also come to be viewed as one of the greatest and most terrifying movie villains of all time. Rio Bravo, 1959. It wasn't often that John Wayne was upstaged on the big screen, but in Howard Hawke's Western classic Rio Bravo, it's not only just one actor that steals the limelight, but three. Sheriff Chance, Wayne, arrests a notorious gunslinger, only for the criminal's brother to declare he is willing to bust him out of jail if necessary. Dean Martin and Ricky Nelson play the town drunk and a baby-faced cowboy respectively, both of which are enlisted to make a stand until reinforcements arrive. At Angie Dickinson's tough widow, Feathers as well, and there are plenty of scene-stealing side characters who make Rio Bravo the classic it is today. Stubborn, stubborn man. Welcome to any new viewers on my channel. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Share with your friends. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.